how would you prepare a contingency plan for the shipboard emergency of grounding in preparing a contingency plan i will show you an example on how duties may be allocated to the respective ranks on board in the emergency of grounding just use this as an example for an emergency and you may adapt for other emergencies as well for example in the case of grounding an officer on watch may have the following duties stopping of engines sounding the general emergency alarm as well as announcing the nature of the alarm calling the master plotting the ship's position wind and weather conditions observing the status of tides and displaying the appropriate lights and shapes once the master is called the master becomes the overall in charge of the operation the master's duty is to inform the port authorities coast guard and the designated person ashore in their own company the master will also direct the officer on watch to broadcast security messages through the vessel's vhf radio or gmdss equipment the master will coordinate communications on board and as well direct others to assess the damage done to the own vessel he must evaluate the possibility or necessity of transferring cargo and or ballast required to refloat the vessel the master must evaluate the danger of vessel being broken or severely damaged he must also check if the tidal range is very large or low or if the vessel has grounded on high water or in low water he must also evaluate the possibility of refloating the vessel by their own means and not using the tugs for assistance he must also evaluate the condition of the engine and consider its condition in the case of grounding he must evaluate the necessity of salvage requirement if unable to refloat by her own equipment the chief officer will organize the deck team for dropping anchor as required sounding all tanks coffer dams and bilges to assess if any ingress of water is taking place take steps towards fire and pollution control prevention evaluate the damage done to the own vessel and calculate for damage stability compare the present soundings with the last recorded soundings to assess if any compartment of the vessel is suffering from an ingress of water the chief engineer may organize the engine room team for sounding all tanks coffer dams and bilges related to the engine room such as fuel oil lube oil diesel oil tanks he must also take all precautions towards fire and pollution control prevention he must evaluate the damage control required in consultation with the master and the chief officer and report to the master the condition of the machinery steering gear rudder and ship's propeller finally the second engineer may engage in the visual inspection of engine room and steering gear and report to the chief engineer the second officer may assist the master on bridge to log events and operate the gmdss equipment the third officer may check the condition of the ship side sound lead around the vessel to get an assessment of the seabed on which the ship has grounded and assist the chief officer as required the bosun may stand by forward to manage anchors and assist the chief officer as required especially if ground tackles have to be laid out or any kind of assistance required for refloating the vessel the electrical officer and the third engineer may assist the chief engineer as required in the engine control room and the other members of the engine department may assist in taking soundings of the tanks and assisting the engine department as required this was just an example of how a contingency plan may be designed for a shipboard emergency this was in the case of grounding and you may use a similar format for other emergencies as well thank you